So the Junk Energy Skydiving Challenges have finally arrived in GTA Online, and with it being this long after the Criminal Enterprises DLC actually released, I was beginning to wonder if we'd ever see them at all. While the new events won't be a big attraction for a lot of veteran players, I personally thought it was a great addition. I really enjoyed the skydiving side activities in story mode, and seeing them implemented into free roam like this is fantastic, and I've had a lot of fun getting back into it again. Plus, if you're new to the game, or just ranking up a low-level character, the rewards are honestly not bad at all, and it's something that you might want to consider adding to your routine. There are 10 jumps that will spawn on your map once every real-life day, with 25 possible locations in total, which 10 you'll get will be totally random. But fortunately, it's not an M16 situation, and they are at least fixed in a specific location. As you can see, the daily spawns will be marked on your map shortly after logging into the game, and all we have to do is go ahead and visit them. When you arrive, you'll want to look for one of these new junk energy stands that have been added to the game, and from there you just have to simply walk up to it and hit the prompt to get it started. Some locations will be a bit different though. If you're on a mountain or something like that, you might not see a stand at all, and instead there will be a lone parachute bag all by itself. Either way, once you load in, you'll be at the top of a steep cliff or hanging out the side of a helicopter. A countdown will start and you can take it from there. Once you're out though, the game will show you all of the various controls in the top left hand corner. And if you're unfamiliar with parachuting in GTA, I strongly suggest you take a moment to study them. The most important one to pay attention to is the retry button, which is going to come in handy with any potential failed attempts along the way. You can even retry after you've landed. Just make sure that you do it before the completion screen disappears, because at that point you have to track all the way back to where you started, which can be super annoying. Completing a skydive with a gold medal requires you to hit all of the checkpoints, do it within the target time, and land cleanly within the yellow circle at the end. To do that, make sure you pay attention to the precise landing controls. In this case, it's L1 and R1, but whatever it is for you, it will again be displayed on the top left. It slows you down and steadies the parachute, and without it you'll have a really difficult time to say the least. If you successfully hit all of the objectives, you'll be rewarded with $5,000, 2,500 RP, and you will have moved closer to making some tasty bonuses, which I'll cover in just a few minutes. It is possible to complete the skydives without beating all of the objectives, but you won't be given a gold medal, and your rewards will be significantly reduced. However, you're free to restart them as many times as you want, and if you get the gold medal at a later point, you'll be paid whatever money you didn't earn on the previous attempts. They're really not too difficult once you get a hang of the mechanics. Sometimes you will have to make some sharp turns or descents, but most of the time it's pretty easy. The only thing I'd say is a bit challenging are these blue rings, where you have to detach your primary parachute, fall through the checkpoint, and then launch your secondary parachute before continuing. It sounds harder than it is though, and with a bit of practice, I found I could hit them every time without any worries, so hopefully you won't have too much trouble. You can also keep a track of your daily progress by coming over to your interaction menu, then inventory, and then down to daily collectibles towards the bottom. And then listed here is obviously the number of parachuting missions that you've completed that day, but annoyingly it doesn't say anything about gold medals. In order to see that, you'll need to come over to the main map, and if you've completed a skydive with a gold medal, it will appropriately have given a gold tick next to it. But if you've completed it without a gold medal, it will just have a green tick. Finishing one of the skydiving challenges will award you with the junk energy shoot bag, which can be equipped over at ammunition in the parachuting section. And if you complete all 10 jumps with a gold medal, you'll also get your hands on the junk energy parachute as well which looks like this when put into action, and in my opinion is one of the cooler looking shoots in the game. Once you do manage to get all of the 10 daily jumps, even if you don't get gold medals, you'll still be rewarded with a bonus $50,000 for your troubles. But if you're an absolute boss and manage to get a gold medal on every one of them, you'll be given an additional $50,000 on top of that, making the bonus alone worth $100,000. And then when you add the 5k that you got from each of the 10 jumps, that will bring your daily total up to 150,000, which as I say is pretty damn good for new players, especially when you can do it every 24 hours. Personally, I found them really easy once I dusted off the cobwebs and got back into the swing of things. I reckon once people get some practice in, they'll be able to knock out 10 of them in no time at all. And when you're low leveled and on the constant chase for money and RP, this could very well be a winner. 
However, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please help it to be seen by more people by tapping the thumbs up button down below. And if you're new around here, do think about subscribing as well. We're a Rockstar Games exclusive channel where I provide news and guides for all things GTA Online. Until we meet again, you bunch of legends. I am Red Nitrate, and I'll catch you on the next one.